finally to White Hart Lane. Tottenham Hotspur looking to regain second place in the table against West Ham, the side sitting rock bottom, still looking for their first win of the season. Robbie Keane finally given a Tottenham debut after his £7 million move from Leeds United and given a hero's acclaim. Spurs hope he can provide the cutting edge in the opposing penalty box. At the other end, Dean Richards was out with a shoulder strain, but Jamie Redknapp was fit to return in midfield. For West Ham, three changes following their home defeat by West Brom. Nigel Winterburn, Sebastian Schemmel and Michael Carrick making way for Christian Daly, Ian Pearce and Steve Lomas. Glenn Hoddle was named Manager of the Month for August after taking 10 points out of 12. A year ago, Glenn Roder's West Ham were bottom and struggling, but he survived then and took his team to a seventh place finish. So no panic just yet. Commentary from Ian Dark. Daly, not the greatest bit of work by him. Robbie Keane! Oh! They nearly set him up. And West Ham signs there of their jittery confidence. Oh, Keane was nearly in. Alec, Lomas winning the ball off Perry. Back in by Canute, not really away by Gardner. And Joe Cole with a real opportunity. Bad defending here, a couple of times by Tottenham. First, Perry didn't make the clearance. Lomas feeds it wide, De Canio plays it in. Look at that from Gardner. That's a great chance for Joe Cole. A bit of head tennis. Ben Thatcher, Keane, nicely done down that left-hand side, Ethering turn, and a great chance for Tottenham, and a goal! It's Simon Davis, who was unmarked, totally unmarked, and the goal we thought would never come has arrived, and it's arrived for Tottenham. It's the two ex-Peterborough boys, the two mates who make it, Etherington setting up Simon Davis. Good ball from Robbie Keane, too, in the build-up. Who was marking Davis? That's in a lot of Sinclair, yeah. West Ham need more from these flair players that they have in the side. Cole, Di Canio, Sinclair. Corner, a lot of West Ham players in there. Doherty, great header away from him. A lot of distance on it. Di Canio, back into the mix once more. Daly! and a goal for West Ham Freddie Canute with the finishing touch West Ham United level look at the climb here by Christian Daly he wanted that ball first to react Freddie Canute the Hammers are happy again there's a new spring in West Ham United step since the goal went in. Bunyevcevic, lovely ball through to him. Oh, Robbie Keane, brilliantly done! Was he penalised there? Was he brought down? Yes, he was! It's going to be a penalty kick. And a red card for Ian Pearce as well. Look at that. And Pearce had to take him down, and that has been declared a professional foul. But he scored. Nerveless. Teddy Sheringham. Tottenham, 2-1 up. Wonderful penalty. Cissé brought down. Two one to Tottenham who are 14 minutes away from going back into second place behind Arsenal. Di Canio, oh, and there was Sinclair! They're level again! Trevor Sinclair with the shock equaliser. Look at the way Sinclair moved in there onto the end of the Di Canio free kick. He picked him out brilliantly. That was a really good goal by West Ham United. Doherty, now Christian Zieger, and 
Anthony Gardner. Being invited to come forward, maybe he'll crack it. Took a deflection and it's in. Gardner's goal at Tottenham ahead with two minutes to go. West Ham backed off and backed off. Oh, it came off Gary Breen on the way through. Hit his heel. And that is so unkind for West Ham United. Villa's 15th successive season in the top division. And Mark Charles has done my word! Oh, what an embarrassment! the game to Birmingham City the what the stewards were doing to allow those idiots on the pitch I'll never know now whose goal is that own goal Melbourne own goal Enkelman the embarrassment could not be greater an astonishing incident I don't know what's gone on since then referee Showing cards here, Staunton gets one. Now, the question is there again, I suppose, about the laws of the game, because you cannot score direct from a throw-in. So if it didn't touch the goalkeeper there, then it shouldn't have been allowed. Presumably the decision is, look, he, he was uh, concentrating on something else, they couldn't believe it. If it did come off the goalkeeper's foot, then obviously... The goal should stand, but if it didn't, under the laws of the game, it should have been disallowed. Staunton presumably made that point, and we have seen, I think, one of the craziest... ...are on their way to victory, and now it's an emphatic victory as well. They'll have shot themselves in the foot again, maybe not in such bizarre fashion, but they gave it away in a dangerous area. Horsfield has punished them. Hardly seen the ball since he came on, but has the presence of mind here after the mistake by Alpine to finish coolly. And Villa have crumbled now. Very good finish as well by Horsfield. Now they can celebrate. striker 